It, it really is the same thing. You know, I, I look at Kenyon as the same thing as Michael. you know, in terms of what he can do, what plays you can call, um, and, and how you can, you know, implement him into your game plan. And that's what we've always done. You know, we don't, when I'm calling plays on the sideline, it's not like, oh, God, Kenyon's and now let's not run these, let's run these. It's, you know, we don't even blink. And it's really the same thing with Trey and DeAnthony is that our offense doesn't change a lick with those guys. You know, they've all been recruited to play in this system, and, and we know what those guys can do. So um, we feel very, very comfortable if he's not going to be able to. Now, this is really a, a typical Dennis Erickson defense, very well coached, very gap sound. Um, you know, they play a lot. They, the, the one thing about this group – um, I think I heard the other day that they got 30 seniors on this football team, you know, and they played a ton of football. And all those guys you're seeing out there, perfect, I've seen for a couple of years. You know, Jamar Jarrett for a couple of years, Shelly Lyons, you know, Colin Parker, all those guys have been there for a long, long time. So they got a great understanding of what their defense is. And, and then they have, even more importantly, they got a great understanding how offenses are trying to attack them. So um, it's, it's a fast, physical team that, that creates a lot of turnovers, and it's going to be a big challenge for us offensively. Doing the one thing I think is different is he changed his offense a year ago, you know, and went to more of a spread attack when they brought Noel Mazzoni in as a, as the offensive coordinator. They had been kind of a, a different type of one back operation before that, but defensively they've been very similar for a long, long time. So you you, you do prepare for both. Is is what does that guy, um, or that guy who's calling plays or calling defenses? What does what does he really want to do? What's his kind of um, makeup? You know, is he an all out blitz guy every down? Is he a you know, let's bend but don't break type operation. And then you start to look at the personnel and how he tries to implement them and fit them in. But it is it is a combination of both. It's not like they got, you know, it's not skewed where one guy in each game has 15 catches and then everybody else has two or three. It's it's really distributed across the front. And they, when, they're, when they're rolling and humming, they got four wideouts in the game, and he'll throw it to all four of them. You know, he's an equal opportunity guy in terms of getting it out. And if, if you try to take, you know, the inside slot receiver away, then – He'll bang it out to the, the outside guy. And then all of a sudden you start to play that cat and mouse game and let's do a little bit more with the outside guy and he'll start to take the inside guy. I think they're very opportunistic and they do have, you know, a, a group of them that can make catches. You know, one of the top, if not the top linebacker in the conference and you've got to be aware of where he is on every play. Um, and, you know, it's one of those deals where you got to know where seven is. Um, he, they do a good job with him. Um, obviously he's in the middle of the action most of the time, but, you know, they seem like they're blitzing him a little bit more and making sure that he creates some pressure on the quarterback, trying to get some mismatches in your protection. Um, and and he's he just a tenacious player that plays all out all the time. So you, you got to make sure that you're very, very aware of where seven is on every play.